हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट टेलिंग टाइम एंड राइटिंग टाइम विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एनोलॉग क्लॉक सो दिस इज अ क्लॉक दिस इज कॉल्ड एनोलॉग क्लॉक एंड एनोलॉग क्लॉक इज हैविंग हैंड्स व्हिच रोटेट्स ऑल द टाइम सो दिस इज दिस फ्रंट वन इज कॉल्ड द फेस ऑफ द क्लॉक सो इट इज हैविंग नंबर्स फ्रॉम 1 टू 12 so these three hands this smaller one is called our our hand this long one it is called our minute hand and this third one this thin and the long hand it is called our second hand so these hands always keeps moving okay and this these always moves in this direction it is called clockwise rotation so this second hand moves faster than these two hands okay this is a digital watch a digital watch do not have hands it always shows the time in numbers for example this time it is 3 then two dots dots means colon and then again 03 means minutes so this first three is representing hour the second one is minutes and then seconds also it's 50 seconds so this means this time the time is 3 hour 3 minutes and 56 seconds okay so in digital watch always the hour and the minute are separated by the colons in between so as we are learning telling time and writing time today so for this we will use this analog clock today This clock is having two hands. This smaller hand is called our hour hand, and this longer one, bigger hand, is called our minute hand. This clock is not having second hand. So as we know that one day is equal to twenty-four hours. So this means our this hour hand will make two complete rotation. One rotation. and two rotations in a day so it will make two rotations in a day the second one is r one r is equal to 60 minutes this means this minute hand this longer one it will complete one rotation in one hour so it will make one rotation in one hour and one minute is equal to 60 seconds the second hand moves faster than these two hands and it will make one rotation in one minute one complete rotation in one minute now today by using this clock we will learn how to read time okay so this is our hour hand here the hour hand is pointing to 11 and our minute hand is at 12 okay so whenever hour hand is pointing to any number and minute hand is at 12 so that time we read the time in the form of o clock For example, here the time is eleven o clock. So we will write like this: eleven, then o, put a comma, then clock. Eleven o clock. Or in digital form, we will write the time like this: eleven, then two dots or colon, then two zeros. So it is eleven o clock. let us take one more example for example here our our hand is pointing to 3 it is at 3 and our minute hand is exactly at 12 this means the time is 3 o clock so we can write like this 3 then o put a comma here and clock and in digital form 
we will write like this. 3 means hours. Then put two dots. And then 0, 0. Okay. Now, for example, now this minute hand move to here. So you can see that there are 5 dots between two numbers. This is after 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this means this time our minute hand is at 1 but it is representing 5 minutes. As it will move ahead 6 minutes, 7 minutes, 8 minutes, 9 minutes and 10 minutes. So this time the time is 10 minutes past 4. Now 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So this means as this minute hand moves further, the minutes will increase by 5. Or we can do a skip count. At 1, there are 5 minutes. When our minute hand is at 1, so we can read as 5 minutes. When it is at 2, we can read as 10 minutes. When it is at 3, 15 minutes. Then 20 minutes. Then 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and complete 60. Okay. Let's take one example. What is the time now? So here our hour hand is pointing towards 7. It is at 7. And our minute hand is at 4. 4 means how many minutes? We will do a skip count. 5, 10, 15, 20. So this means the time is 7, 20. The time is 7. Then put two dots and 20. Or in words, we can write 20 minutes past 7. Because 7 hours has been passed. Okay. Now, take another example. Now, what's the time? This time, our hour hand is at 11. So, write 11 first. Okay. Then put the dots. And now, read this minute hand. It is at 2. 2 means 5, 10. This means 10 minutes. So, 11, 10. Or in words, how can we say? 10 minutes past 11. Now, let's do one more example. So, this time our overhand is at 4 and our minute hand is at 5. So, first we will write 4. Then we will make two dots or colon. Now, we will read this minute hand. So, it is at 5 means we will do skip count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, the time is 4, 25. Okay, 425 or we can write like this, 25 minutes past 4. Now we will learn about the concept of half past the hour. This means whenever our hour hand is between two numbers and our minute hand is at 6, so that time we read the time in the form of half past. This means after 1, this half hour, half an hour has been passed. So that's why we will read the time in the form of half past. So this time, our time is 1, 2 colons and 30 minutes. Or we can read like 1, 30 and how we will write this? We will write it in the form of half past. So half past 1. So we will write like this. Half past 1. Take another example. Now this time 
our our hand is between three and four. Okay, and minute hand is exactly at thirty minutes or six. So our time will be three thirty. Three thirty, or we can write like this: half past. We will write the hour here. Half past three. Take one more example. Now here, this time, now our our hand is between five and six, and minute hand is at six. So this means the time is five thirty. Or we can write as it is five thirty. So how we will write this time? Half half an hour has been passed. So half past what? How many hours also passed? Five. So half past five. So I hope that now this concept of half past minutes and hours will be clear to you. So the next concept that is quarter past and quarter to the hour that I will explain in my next video. So friends. If you like this video if you understood this concept then please share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos see you in the next video till then goodbye take care